Fever Pop Quiz. How many rules are in a stretcher match? None. Exactly. The only rule for a stretcher match is to get your opponent to exit the arena on a stretcher. Of, not of their own volition. Much like the dreaded basket match, there could only be one winner for this match, and you must incapacitate your opponent so much that he cannot continue. Most definitely. Yeah. How good of a manager is Johnny Rock if he couldn't get Frenchie out of this match? Well, let me ask you something really quickly. Well, first of all, this happened to well before Johnny Rock was the manager. Let me tell you something. Do you think that GQ Gallo could lift him out on a stretcher? Do you think Joe, hey, and GQ Gallo could lift Frenchie out on a stretcher? That's, uh, you know, he's in phenomenal shape. We're going to find out. I'm not saying he's that. I'm just saying he's a big boy. I am. The elite extremist Gabriel Gallo, he bleeds EXW. We may see some of that tonight. He looks angry, Beaver. just from not shaving his back. Oh, we're going head to head. There is so much bad blood here. Uh, a little history lesson for the EXW fans who don't know. Frenchie in the middle of uh, uh, Gallo in the middle of a match last year accidentally broke Frenchie's arm. Complete happenstance. He's a professional. This happens. Frenchie's been on a crusade to end Gallo's career ever since. I'll tell you, these two men hate each other. And what we're going to be seeing here tonight is not a wrestling match. What we're going to see is a fight. And I know I'm going to enjoy every single minute of it. And that fight is starting right now. Oh! oh good gut shot by Frenchie. We're in the solar plexus. Big chops for Frenchie. I think the key for Frenchie here is to slow it down, and keep Frenchie it methodical. Choking him out on the ropes, there could be an eye drag. Looks like it was, it was a choke out. Again, completely within the rules of a stretcher match. Because there, there is really only one rule, and that's get your opponent out on the stretcher. GQ Gallo going to be. I, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not against the rules. It absolutely isn't. No disqualifications. No count outs. Dear Lord, did you see the force behind that chop? Not too many chops can knock a man off his feet. Most chops don't have 330 pounds of angry man behind them. In pink tiger leotards. Yeah, I really can't defend those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know about Frenchie, but can't really defend those. Big short clothesline from Frenchie Riviera. Gallo in a crumpled heap on the ground. But you got him in for a big man. He moves around very, very well. Much like a Bam Bam Bigelow or a Big Man Vader. This man can make a move. He is huge and he can fight. Most definitely, especially when he has boot draped across Gallo's neck. Perfectly legal, I might add. Putting all his weight upon Gallo's neck. He could break the high old game, crush Gallo's esophagus, and really 
destroy his career. Most certainly. Frenchie is totally in his element right now. Uh, Frenchie and Dom, as the freak squad, generally use these nefarious cheating tactics in their matches. Now they don't have to hide. Hey, 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 it's not cheating if you don't get caught. I said it before, I'll say it again. And this is not cheating because there are no rules in this match other than take your opponent out on the stretcher. And now what's Gallagher? He's going after a manager. He shouldn't do that. Get in, in. Oh, Johnny Rock should not be getting in Gallo's face. Ja uh, Johnny Rock Frenchie is and not involved in the match. Frenchie and Gallo on the outside. Gallo throwing punch after punch and boot after boot right into Frenchie's head. And apparently it looks like only uh, you only have to get your opponent on the stretcher. We have our medical team here that will be taking the, the uh, competitor out. But do they have enough strength for the Frenchie? Yeah. They're, they're, they're calling in more guys. Looks like Frenchie was on his way up for a little bit of recovery there. Uh oh. Gallo's got the stretcher. Oh, 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 Lord. Right across the back of the neck of the head. And he could slip a disc. He could sever a spinal cord. He could get hurt very easily with something. Gallo like with. Oh! Right into the steel railing elbow. Most, um, most railings have a lot of give. This has no give. It is built right into the cement. Right, it is It is planted into the floor. So there is no hope but a massive repercussion on the Gallo. Oh, Gallo up. Body slam on the concrete. Oh, my God. Oh. And you can hear that sickening thud of the back connecting with solid concrete. I love it. Oh, wow. Frenchie and Dom nearly took Gallo out before. They're trying. Frenchie's trying to do it all by his lonesome again. Gallo's on the ground. Frenchie has this completely reversed. He's really taking control of this match right now. Gallo, oh, oh into the steel ring post, head first. Once again, he could crack a jaw with that. Frenchie calling for the stretcher. And I noticed the EMTs were a little slow in bringing the stretcher out. They could have brought the stretcher out right as he uh, got body slammed on our Oh, really? And, and, and is Johnny Rock supposed to be helping get Gallo on the stretcher? And he wasn't doing that. He was just pointing in the right direction. Right, right. Gallo off the stretcher. He's up. You know, if he starts his wits about him, he, there's no way he's going to let himself uh, be, uh, that's why be pulled out. That's why Frenchie has to get back on him and get back on him quickly. Frenchie and Quickly, not really two words that go great together. We got another whip. Oh! What a giant stone pillar in the middle of Toby Keats. I love this bar girl. Mesa, Arizona, thank you for hosting us. Why do you have a giant stone pillar in the middle of your restaurant? Do you really think if you would ever see a stone pillar be used as a foreign object in a wrestling match? Oh, Frenchie with the steel chair, just threw it into the ring. And I'll tell you, those steel chairs oh. have been personally inspected before the match. Those have absolutely no give to them whatsoever. You're the chair inspector? No, I have my sources. I told oh. you. Oh, God. Gallo's busted open now. 100% Detroit steel. Oh, my God. Gallo is bleeding a gusher as we speak. And that elbow just drove Gallo's head even further. Into a steel turnbuckle. Oh my god. Gabriel Gallo, face just a mask of red. He is wearing the crimson mask right now. I think so. You know, and there's that chair. Oh, that the, 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 quite possibly the same chair that uh, Frenchie took Gallo out with backstage two weeks ago. Would not surprise me whatsoever. Oh. Ooh. Another big chop. This, oh. Look, you can even see oh, the no. blood. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh. And Frenchie trapping uh, and Gallo, Gallo into the ropes. Ref, ref, referee, get in there. Get in there, ref. Hey, yeah. there's, uh, there's no rule against this. Oh, okay. There is no rule. There should be a rule against common decency and ending someone's career. Hey, oh, God, Frenchie. No, no, no. Oh. 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 Gallo with the kick to the gun. He's out of the ropes. Big shot! Oh, poke to the eye. Frenchie back with the chair. And you can see the blood running down the chest of DQ Gallo. 
He is it, it's just bleeding a massive amount. Uh, blood loss is going to take its toll soon enough. Oh, we got a reversal. Drop goal. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Frenchy Riviera just went head first with a dropped hold right in that steel chair. Frenchy's not careful. He could bust himself open. Oh, no doubt. This, oh, God. Oh, my. And look, look at the blood coming from GQ Gallery's mouth. He is just. That is oh. absolutely disgusting. That is disgusting. That could be a sign of internal injuries. But of course, Gallo isn't going to stop. He is the elite extremist. He bleeds EHW. Oh, Frenchie is busted open as well. from the chair to Frenchie were absolutely horrendous. Frenchie can't even keep standing. So he's trying to be a good manager. He needs to check on his man. Johnny trying to get Gallo to stop. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. big leg to the chest. Gallo screaming for the stretcher. The fans solidly behind GQ Gallo. Listen to the fans' oh, chance. Could be seriously hurt here. John, uh, Johnny doing. Oh, God. Now, what the heck is this? Johnny Rocks trying to stop the EMTs from. from uh, oh, he is not. And he was just checking on his client. That's what you do as a good man. It's a stretcher match, Beaver. Check when they're out of the ring. Hey, he could have internal injuries. He had a minute. Frenchie off the stretcher. Hey, he could. He could have internal injuries. Both of, both of these guys You saw them both bleeding from the mouth early on. Oh my god. Punch after punch after punch. Right into Frenchie's. Oh! oh my god. That glass just broke against his head. You know, knowing Frenchie, I bet you it wasn't even diet. Really? You gonna go with that one? That's all I got. Two men bleeding buckets and you're Oh no, oh no. Joke. Front face lock from Gallo. He's not gonna do He's, he's, he's gonna. Oh, oh my god! DDT on the concrete! That's the very move which Jake the Snake Roberts took out Ricky the Dragon Seamboat with in I believe 1985 if I'm not mistaken. That's absolutely weird, Beaver. But he took it on for a good long time. He did take it on for a good long time. Gallo calling for the stretcher. I, I can't I can't believe this can go on much longer. Both of this these this is This could be over right here. This is absolutely horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Uh, a DDT on the concrete floor. Johnny Rocks doing what a good man this should do. He's checking on his mouth. He's not trying to stop. He is uh, just checking. Tony B is uh, signaling that uh, Johnny is trying to stop it. So, you know, yeah, that's what a good manager does. Exactly. He's trying to win it for his his, uh, his man. Absolutely. Let him leave. And so far, Let man. him leave. Let him get out of here on the stretcher, Johnny. For his sake, for the rest of Frenchie's career, for the rest of Gallo's career. And Frenchie's uh, signaling to put him down. Uh, Frenchie off the stretcher. I, I, I don't know how much more of these two can take. this is a good idea for Frenchie. I don't know if this is a good idea for anyone involved here. Frenchie could have a serious concussion right there. And if he does, he's not thinking straight. Frenchie, some sort of second win getting Gallo back in the ring. I don't know how he's even standing, let alone conscious. I don't know how either of these guys are conscious. Frenchie reversed, chest first. 
what do you think? We'll let a total combine of, I'd say, three pints at least. And then there's a lot. There's, you can see, you see a piece of Gallo's forehead is hanging off. Oh! God. Baseball slide into the gonards. Oh! Ow. And of course, all of this is legal. Uh, every one of these moves is absolutely legal. Are they moral? No. Are they healthy? No. Should this be stopped? Probably. Am I going to do it? No. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it. Absolutely because amazing. Gallo calling for the stretcher again. I, I, there is a giant chunk of flesh hanging off of Gallo's thread. Oh my god. Oh! Drop kick that chair right into the chest and face of Frenchie Rivera. Frenchie is convulsing. Um, Gallo's down. Frenchie, I, I don't know what to say. This, if he doesn't have a concussion at this point, I and, and Johnny Russ taking the stretcher. He's trying to win for his man. You know, no one's winning the longer this goes on. Exactly. Both these men, again, could have internal injuries, could have career ending injuries. Oh my god, this is it has to end soon. This has to end. And he's wrapping and his legs around the ropes. He still has enough fortitude to wrap his legs around the ropes and say no. I don't want to be covered by the stretcher. Frenchie is saying he Oh no. Frenchie, back, back up. Go after Johnny Rock. He is a simple manager. He is not doing anything in this match. He's just checking on the well-being of his client. Gallo's gone. Oh my God. Uh, Gabriel Gallo's pulled the and, table out from underneath the ring. And Johnny Rock's trying to plead with some semblance of reason here. He is trying to hope that uh, Gallo will not uh, put him through this table. This is perfectly legal, um, incredibly insane, and 100% immoral. The, it looks like the leg on the table is malfunctioning. Oh god! I see if I was going, I would have kept uh, Frenchie away from the table for as long as humanly possible. Oh wow! Gallo's face just met that table. Frenchie's still got a lot left in him. Oh, now he's got the stretcher. It's that hard, fortified plastic stretcher uh, designed for airlifting and, and emergency situations. Draws the point, the point of the stretcher right into Gallo's back. Oh my God. Uh, and uh, Johnny Rocks, of course, helping, of course. And he's just holding it steady. I doubt that for He's just uh, holding and saying, obviously, Frenchie is a little, a little light on his feet right now, as is T.T. Gallo. I, I can't believe either of these guys can still move. Frenchie's called for the stretcher. And they've got... And Frenchie is very lucky he was not put through that table right there. They've got Gallo up. And he's very close to the back. He's trying to stand up. He's holding onto that railing with dear life. Gallo pulls him off the stretcher. And he's doing not it yet. right in front of a little kid. This kid could have, uh, have psychological uh, damage from this. <laughs> I have psychological damage from this. I'll bet you. I'll give you the name of a good the psychiatrist, the one I was going to mention to Johnny Manson, but I think you need it more. I think these guys need it more than both of us. Frenchie's slowly getting into the ring. I can't believe he's still moving. You know, we claim that Johnny Manson, we claim that uh, the mammal are crazy. But how crazy do you have to be to put your body, let alone somebody else's body, through oh. this? Clubbing, forearm. How much of a sadist, how much of a masochist do you have to be to put, uh, put yourself and somebody else through this? You know, how much do you have to hate that guy to put yourself through this? There's the oh big... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't really power bomb, but Gallo slides Gallo, out back. Gallo slides. Almost lost his footing, slipping on the blood, I believe. Wow. He did not get all of it. The head, his head rolling into Frenchie Rivera's midsection. Frenchie rolling out of the ring. Gallo following up slowly. Both these guys are in immense amounts of pain. They've lost a lot of blood. Both men are precariously near that table. 
Gallo attempting to drape Frenchie on that table. Uh, Gallo's having some bad thoughts right here. Oh boy. Johnny Rocks. Uh, no, I don't think so. And Johnny? Johnny, I wouldn't try to buy him off or anything. Uh, Johnny, I would run. Johnny's talking down. Johnny, I would run. You can't talk him off of this, Johnny. Especially when you're wearing a chinchilla farm on your shirt. Gallo doesn't see Frenchie coming up. And this could be very disastrous. It could. It could. Miss the miss. Wow. Johnny Rocks misses with the powder. He's going to try and block. Bailey. Go on the table. Go on the table. Frenchie. Oh. Oh, Frenchie went crashing through that table out of the concrete floor. And that, and that table is not just split in half, it is shattered into a thousand little pieces. Oh, uh, I, I am just a, I, I don't know, this has got to be all. I don't like Frenchie Riviera, but he, he may be done. He may be done for good. If this isn't it, you've got to admit. And uh, I would say so is Gabriel Gallo. Both of these guys. Frenchy calling off the stretcher. He went through that table. He's getting to his knees. Oh. Once again going after Johnny Rocks. How much does Frenchy Riviera? Hate Gabriel Gallo to get up from that. Oh my God! These men will have serious injuries. I don't even know if they'll be able to walk in the morning. And more, I don't know if they're gonna be able. To oh! He oh. lift right to the jaw of Frenchie over here. If Frenchie is not out. What is Gallo planning? Oh, no. He is not. He should go up top. I would caution against this. I would highly oh. caution against this. Not for Frenchie's sake, so much as Gallo's. Oh, my God. Could be a moonsault. Oh! And Johnny Rocks. Johnny Rocks moving the rope. Blatant interference. Now that it's all perfectly legal. And now, put me. Gallo has got to be out of it. And he is Frenchie calling, calling for the stretcher. And this has got to be it right here. A power bomb off the top. We have the EMTs in there rolling Gallo out of the stretcher. And Johnny is checking on his man Frenchie over here. And you can see one of the straps coated with blood. Already coated with blood. Gallo fighting off the stretcher. What have we seen? These guys going through tables, bleeding like stuck pigs. DDTs out of the floor. These men must have serious brain damage at this point to be turning away the stretcher. And now the EMTs have left the stretcher in the ring. I don't know how good an idea that is. Alright, All right, you want to get in the middle of these two? No, but you can at least grab them. Oh my oh god! My god. Oh my god. Two, three! Oh my god! Three massive chair shots in a row. I, you know, how many times? Oh! Right under the right arm! Keep in mind, did Bell not affect the arm of French Riviera? He did. Uh, inadvertently, yes, he did. This, uh, how many times am I going to say this? Can they take any more? Every time I think they can, they come back again and again. Maybe this, the straps are locked in. Gallo is, is fighting it. He's fighting it. They can't get the bottom straps in. He's no. off the stretcher. And oh! Right to the shoulder. Another one to the shoulder and back. Go 
between winning a match and trying to end someone's career I'll tell you, I love Vincent Rivera as well as the East guys, but he has got to be one of the most sick, twisted SOPs walking. Let's go with the world. What What did we just see? And of course, he did it without any help from Dr. Vaughn. He did it without any help from Candy. He did it with minimal help from Johnny Ross. He did this all on his own. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm thinking nothing. I'm rethinking of fire you, Beaver. He's the king of the rules. That's what I want to introduce. Gallo's not the king of the rules. French Riviera, the new king of the rules. Same thing. That's exactly what I want for the same time. I don't know why he's so turned on me. I've been on your side all the time. 